Hey, 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 happy day. Sharon Hornell from here, also known as Pajama Grandma at the cabin. Today, let's talk about the expression through the grapevine. I couldn't find a grapevine in the in the filters and the frames, so I just picked fall leaves and, or whatever. It looks like falling fruit, actually, not just fall leaves, but it's very festive, very fall like, very October festy, which I happen to be at October Fest this weekend at the cabin. So, through the grapevine, where does this expression come from? personally cannot hear this expression without thinking of the song, Heard It Through the Grapevine. If you know what I'm talking about, you're old like I am, but it was a great movie, it was a great, it's a great, um, it's a great song, it's, um, it reminds us that things that we hear through the grapevine may or may not be true, right? What does this expression mean and where does it come from? It's an, a popular African American expression, which I think is probably a popular everybody expression at this point, because it's been around since the 16th century. In any expression, I'm learning very quickly that any expression that's been around for hundreds of years, even just, you know, a hundred years, is well ingrained in our culture, in our society. And maybe it's not personally affecting you, but it's affecting people that you're interacting with, people that you interface with, I'm sure have heard or been impacted by this expression. Well, just like a grapevine grows and twists and turns from grape to grape to grape, information that is passed from person to person to person tends to get a little twisted and a little messed up sometimes. Um, and information, by information I mean rumors, gossip, um, confidential information, secrets are often shared through the grapevine. And by that we mean from person to person to person. So the things you hear around the water cooler or the things that you hear from your vendors, the things that you hear from other people may or may not be true or factual or based in any sense of reality whatsoever. And if you hear those things before you pass them on and you want to grow and supersize your business, please do your due diligence. Please look into the information. Please verify the source. And if possible, go back and ask the source of the information. If you heard that your salesman from XYZ vendor said that so-and-so's business was going out of business, number one, go ask that person that started that or that you first heard it from and said, you know, how do you know this? Did the, the business owner himself or herself tell you that was happening? Or did you just hear it from another salesman or another vendor or another business that said that? Because if you make your decisions based on rumors or gossip or information that's been passed from person to person to person, you are setting yourself up for some big falls and some big mistakes. I think back to when we were kids, even as far back as grade school, maybe even kindergarten, we learned the telephone game. And the teacher would tell, we'd all sit in a circle, the teacher would tell the first student in the circle a secret, a, a sentence or something. And usually it was just one sentence. And that sentence would be passed from child to child to child to child until the last child would say out loud what they had heard. And inevitably what they heard versus what the teacher started out with for the sentence were entirely different. They weren't even related. They're, they, you know, and the more people in the line, the more unrelated the two things were. The same is true with us as adults, and especially when we're running our businesses and trying to grow our businesses. Uh, I, I've experienced this in corporate America. I've experienced it with my businesses. I've experienced it in my personal life, in, in different organizations, and just with friends, groups of friends. One friend says that another friend's going through something, and, and you don't even know it's true. I know, um, I remember when I was getting my divorce, I mean, one of my friends came to me and asked me something and I'm like, where did you even get that? Or where did you hear that? Well, another one of our friends had said something to her and it was, it was totally off the wall, not true. The exact opposite actually of what was going on and what had happened. And I've experienced that so many times in my life. And I believe you probably have to ask yourself, have I experienced and heard information that I might have acted upon that I didn't go back and verify the source. I'll tell you what, early on, I, I made that mistake once or twice and got burned by not verifying and looking into the, the story of the information. I think it was in my, probably my personal life is where I got burned the first and, and the most with that. And then I learned that if it's gonna burn me in my personal life, it can definitely hurt me and burn me in my, my businesses or my professional career in corporate America and I wasn't gonna let that happen. So I always went back to the source and, and, and asked, I'm like, okay, this is, this is what I heard. No, I'm not gonna tell you who I heard it from because it might have been through 10 people, but this is what I heard. Is this so? Is this coming from you? 
and you know what is it and then I would ask myself what does it mean to me if it means anything to me because a lot of times the stuff we hear the information we hear the, the nonsense we hear not only is it distorted but it doesn't have anything to do with us or our business or what we're doing or our direction and so do we really care I, I don't really care I have like no time and no energy for gossip and you know what other people are doing I'm busy creating what I want to create in the world and so you know if I can help and support them in any way, people that are having a hard time, I will do that. But as far as does it impact what I am personally doing to my business, unless it's my customers and I'm trying to find better ways to serve, no, it just doesn't. So the things I hear through the grapevine are just things that kind of tend to go in one ear and out the other, unless it's something I need to do due diligence on, investigate, and find out is it something I need to know? Is it something that's important? And is it even founded in any sense of reality or fact? Or is it just one of those things that's changed as it's gone through the telephone game? Sit, go out, have an awesome day. Don't spread gossip, don't spread rumors, don't be part of the grapevine until you verify things. And uh, have an awesome day, build your business, mind your own business. I really wanna say, mind your own business and everything will be okay. Catch you tomorrow, have an amazing day.